a riddle for thee. What is bigger than a hamster travels at 17 and a half thousand miles per hour and can kill you before you even know it is there? I guess the video title kind of gives it away. Yeah, it's space junk. Since the dawn of the space age, we've sent satellites, space stations, multi-stage rockets, and plenty of people too into orbit. From tiny paint flecks to entire defunct satellites, with all this space junk now cluttering the once empty space around our planet, should we be worried? Well, it's clearly a concern for NASA. They have even set up a network to track it all, the Space Surveillance Network. This network accurately tracks around 500,000 pieces of space junk larger than a five pence piece, with 20,000 of them being larger than a hamster. The problem comes when, for whatever reason, the speeding junk slows down or is accidentally redirected, setting it on a collision course with Earth and the seven billion people living there. And on average, at least one bit of space trash makes an unscheduled descent towards the Earth's surface every single day. Although you'd think that that figure might actually be higher with all those bits flying around up there, well, we have the atmosphere to thank for that. Ow! Many of those inbound pieces never actually make it to the Earth's surface. Smaller, less heat-resistant junk collides with air particles burning up as they streak across the sky. Just think that that next shooting star you wish upon could actually be a slowly roasting astro turd from the space station. Beautiful. Larger pieces on the other hand, or ones that are made up of more heat resistant materials, do stand a chance of making it to the surface. Like Skylab, the United States first space station, which crashed back to Earth in 1979. Fragments of the huge craft were scattered across the Australian outback. And although no one was injured, the town of Esperance fined NASA $400 for littering. They never paid. Pay up NASA, don't be cheap. Or the nuclear powered Soviet satellite that crashed in Canada in 1978, spreading radioactive debris across thousands of square miles. Despite a special recovery mission, less than a tenth of a percent was ever found. In 2011, it was estimated that a total of around 6 million kilograms of space junk had survived the journey from space to Earth. The boffins at the European Space Agency have calculated that the annual risk of someone being hit by a falling piece of space debris is around 1 in 100 billion. And the risk of that someone being you is around 1 in 6 quadrillion. And I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear that you are over 20 million times more likely to be killed by a falling coconut. And so actual collisions with people are boringly rare. Although not rare enough. For Lottie Williams of Oklahoma. Lottie was taking a late night stroll through a park in Tulsa when she felt what she thought was a tapping on her shoulder. In the dark, imagining the worst, and certainly not imagining that her aggressor had come from space, she began to run, but stopped when she heard something hit the ground behind her. Returning to the object, she found it to be a piece of woven metal fabric, no larger than a drinks can, and partially melted and blackened around the edges. Taking it to the University of Tulsa, scientists there confirmed that this fragment had indeed come from space, specifically from the fuel tank of a Delta II rocket that had re-entered the atmosphere earlier that night. Luckily for Lottie, this piece was small and light enough to have been slowed considerably by its 160 kilometer descent through the atmosphere. And luckily for the rest of us, Lottie is the only person known to have ever been hit by falling space junk. So what can we do about all this junk? Lots of different cleanup efforts have been proposed, from giant dredging spaceships that collect up all the rubbish, to immense clouds of dust to slow the fragments, allowing gravity to pull them back down to Earth. At the moment though, no one wants to commit the cash. Classic humans, manana manana. So can space junk kill you? Yes, but it's very, very, very unlikely. A bit more likely if you're already in space, but I'm guessing that astronaut training probably covers the simple matter of chunks of metal speeding towards you at 20 times the speed of sound. Either way, I suggest you get out stargazing and space trash spotting, and if something taps you on the shoulder, turn and punch. Don't think, just turn and punch. Well, that's space junk for you. And if you've got any ideas how to deal with it, then let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more science videos. Okay.